Are your kids struggling with dividing fractions? Let's handle this right now. To divide fractions, we simply need to write down the problem, and then we can rewrite it in a way that's easier to take a look at. So I have 3 quarters divided by 1 half. In order to change this division problem into something we can work with, we are going to change it into multiplication problem. And we do that by taking the reciprocal, which simply means you make the two, the one half turn into a two over one. So you just, whatever's on the bottom, you put on the top. Whatever's on the top, you put on the bottom. And now, that's what we need to do in order to change a division problem into multiplication. Okay. And then we simply multiply the top. Three times two is six. The bottom, four times one, is four. We can reduce this by dividing the top and bottom by the same number. In this case, it'd be two. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we have our answer, 3 halves. So why does that work? Well, if we take a look at this a little more carefully, and we say, I have, say, 3 pizzas, okay? And I'd like to divide it between 2 people. How much does each, each person get? Well, each person would, I would get 1, and you would get 1. But then we'd have to share that third one, right? I would get this, you would get that. So this portion here, if we put a half, this is one half, two halves, and three halves, right? So I would get three halves, otherwise known as one and a half, and you would also. You would get this half and that half, that makes a whole, so that's the one, and here's the half, okay? So to do it numerically with numbers, let's write this out. So we are going to take 3, and now, remember on whole numbers, there's always a little 1 underneath a whole number in case you need it. So we're going to change this division into a multiplication, and we can do that by flipping the second one, not the first one, but the second one. So now the 1 is on top, and the 2 is on the bottom. 3 times 1 is 3, and remember there's always a 1 underneath, 1 times 2 is 2. The answer of 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves. And if you wrote it as 3 divided by 2, you'd see you'd actually have the same answer. Do you see how that works? Okay, let's try it without pictures and let's just do some numbers. Okay, so if I have the number 3 eighths and I want to divide that by 2 fifths, how does that work? Okay, so I'm going to take my 3, I'm going to rewrite it, I'm going to turn it into a multiplication problem. I'm going to take 3 eighths multiplied by, and then flip this one, 5 over 2. And then we just multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. So I have 15 over 16 is my answer. I wanted to pause a minute and just see how you're doing. How are you feeling so far with what we've been going over? We're going to continue with a few more problems, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose you yet. All right, and if you're feeling like, hey, this is great, I want to continue and I want to, I want to do more, no problem. You can actually sign up right now with a free class with me where we spend a lot more time going into a lot more depth. You simply go to getmath.net slash fractions to sign up for that free class. Okay, let's go back down and take a look at a few more problems. If I have two-thirds divided by one-half, what do I get? Okay, and then we're going to multiply, and now we're going to take two over one. Okay, so I'm going to have a f two times two is four, three times one is three. Four-thirds, which is, um, you can also write it as one and a third. How about seven-ninths divided by two-thirds? So that's 7 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 2. So before I multiply, I'm actually going to cancel. This is 3 times 3 here. This is 3 times 1. So I can cross off one of the 3s. I'm left with 7 times 1, which is a 7. 3 times 2, which is a 6. So the answer is 7, 6, or you could write it as 1 and a 6. Now, if your kids are struggling to keep up with math, I think I have something that will help. I have created a comprehensive math curriculum that I'm sure your kids are going to love and get a lot out of. But if you want to try it out first, I have something for you. This week, I am offering a free class on the easy way to learn fractions. You can register for free at getmath.net slash fractions. That's getmath.net slash fractions. I will see you in class.